for a foul. Everybody knows what they do on Saturdays in the fall, but what about the rest of the time? What exactly is it that football officials are doing when they're not working games? Well, much of their time is spent improving their craft, studying, analyzing film, and working to get better at what they do. That's why so many of them gathered here at the Big 12 College Football Officials Clinic in July. It's a four-day event dedicated to ensuring accuracy and consistency among college football officials. The purpose of this, and there are a number of these going on across the country, is to get officials on the same page with how we interpret the rules, how we uh, apply our philosophies and, and our mechanics in terms of how we work the game so that across the, co uh, the country, coast to coast, you're seeing the same type and, and consistency of officiating from one conference to the next. At this particular clinic, there were well over 500 officials in attendance from eight different conferences, including the Big 12, Conference USA, and the Mountain West. Getting officials from so many different conferences in the same place is part of a larger initiative to eliminate subtle differences in the way games are called. The traditional way in, in which we, we trained officials is each individual conference held their own separate clinic. And so it inevitably led to one conference doing things a little bit different than another conference. Well, how do you get around that? Well, the, the best way is an ideal situation if you got every college official in every conference all across the country. Logistically, that's somewhat difficult to do. So what we ended up doing was going to regional clinics where we get you know, anywhere from four to, to, to seven or eight conferences together. So you get a larger number of officials hearing the same message at the same time, and then that's all coordinated by Dave Perry, the national coordinator, who attends the various clinics just to be sure that everybody is consistent in that message. Many years ago, each conference would do it their own way. It is the Big 12 way, the, the Pac-10 way, and so on. So by having a lot of conferences um, together in the same facility, hearing the same philosophies, getting the same training, the NCAA hopes to get consistency across the country and trying to break away from this conference calls it this way, another conference calls it that way. So what actually happens at these clinics? Hours and hours of studying. Classroom sessions spent reviewing game film. Group discussions on the right way and the wrong way to call a particular play. Mentoring from some of the top officials in college and the NFL. Anything and everything to ensure that each official has the proper tools and training to make the right call. This is probably one of the most valuable things that we do during the year because we get a chance to, first of all, we interact with other officials. This is the only time during the year in which all of the Big 12 officials come together. And for the training, you know, we use NFL officials. We have Ed Hockley here. We have Mike Carey here. We have Bill Levy here. I mean, so you have some of the, the top official Super Bowl caliber referees. You have an opportunity to interact with those guys, ask them questions, and see how they do it, and bring that down to our game. And, you know, you just can't beat that kind of training. It's also a time to get brushed up on any rule changes or new points of emphasis. This year, two of the major areas being addressed are player safety and unsportsmanlike conduct. The competition committee wants to be sure that in the college game that emphasis is on the team and not on the individual player. So officials are going to be taught to pay particular attention to things like throwing the ball in the air, making gestures uh, at opponents, or, or making gestures such as uh, signaling first downs, doing somersaults into the end zone, and those types of things that we take out of the game. Uh, also, the, the rules committee from a player safety standpoint is very concerned uh, on the incidence of, of hits on defenseless players. I should say, receivers going for the ball, uh, obviously quarterbacks and the continued emphasis on protecting the quarterbacks who are in the act of throwing the ball and very vulnerable to injury. Uh, so there'll be added emphasis on that. Clinics like this take place all over the country, and it just goes to prove the work on the field wouldn't be possible without the work off it. As a referee, you know, this, this, I'm out in the field for three hours, and that's what fans see. But, but the other six and a half days of the week that you don't see us, that's really where we put in the work to, in order to be able to, to work those three hours in the field. So a lot more effort goes into the game off the field during those other six days. And what you see for those three hours on the field is just a culmination of the hard work during the week. For the Big 12 Report, I'm Sam Newman.